Chris Reed. I'm actually, um, this uh, video is on integration by parts. And the purpose of this video is to teach you some tips on reducing one's probability of making a mistake. Okay, the traditional way to do an integration by parts is say, a lot of times we'll say, take out the constant two. That'd be x e to the negative two x dx. And then you say, okay, u equals to x dv equals to e to the negative 2x dx and then you take the derivative of that that becomes du equals dx and b is just equal to the integral of that and that's just v equals to negative one half um, e to the negative 2x and this equals to you know um, negative x over 2 times e to the negative 2x oh yeah don't forget the 2 here just multiply that 2 right there and then you say minus minus, which becomes plus one half integral of e to the negative two x dx. And then you take out the integral there. That's equal to two times negative x over two e to the negative two x. Look at that. And then this becomes minus one fourth e to the negative two x. And then plus yeah, plus c is a constant integration. Oh yeah, and then a lot of times you can just multiply that two in there. That's equals to negative, you know, twos cancel out right here. That's become negative x e to the negative two x uh, minus one half e to the negative two x plus c. Okay, this is a common mistake people make. They forget about the two because they get so focused on trying to find the answer to this x e to the negative two x. And they may get maybe a point or two count off on their exam. Here, Here's my method, which I call, is, I just say include the constant. We'll just say, go ahead and say u equals to 2x, dv equals to e to the negative 2x dx. And then du equals to 2 dx, v equals to negative 1 half e to the negative 2x. Now this equals to, now this uv, now you got immediately got negative x e to the negative 2x and then minus minus makes a plus now that just gets rid of one half and you get the integral of e to the negative 2x dx now that's equal to x negative x e to the negative 2x minus one half e to the negative 2x plus c see this is a lot easier because that way you when you're so focused on getting the answer I, my suggestion is to include the constant in there and this is where you're most likely to make less mistakes. So thanks for watching the video and have a good day.